Hi everyone, welcome to Live Darts. We are here at the Tower of London for the SAP sponsored event and we've got Young Sensation Leighton Van. Leighton, thanks for joining us. Are you looking forward to playing the power at this grand old stage of the Tower of London? Well, I absolutely can't wait for it. Probably the best thing I've ever played in my life to be fair. This is uh, just made the most of it. Is this a good learning curve for yourself playing the best player that's ever thrown? Yeah, de definitely. Just, I'd be happy to take a couple of legs even up there. So just knowing what he's done, 16 time world champions, like, every day you're going to play him here. So. Is this important for your development as a player, do you think, to play on the, these sorts of stages, playing the likes of Phil? Yeah, it is going to help massively. Uh, being with Sapp and Nevada, it's happened, just happened all quick. And, and it's, it's helped me no end really with my confidence and stuff like playing James Wade at Prague and stuff like that. It's just, it, if I'm taking legs off them, it just boosts his confidence in my head now and I can take legs off people like that. And it, it does, it really helps me. As well, does that also help going back to playing the JDC Tour as well, knowing that you've played the very best here? Yeah, yeah, JDC Tour, that, that's a massive help as well. Four out of six tours I've won as well. So that, that's a really good tournament though, that is. Obviously, with social media the way it is these days, are you aware of the hype around you as a youngster coming through? Uh, I try and, take, try and not take notice of it really, because I, I don't want it to get in my head or anything like that. So I have a quick look sometimes, but I, I try to ignore all the negative comments and stuff like that. So that's, that's a very good thing to have, obviously, because you've been sat around in the same sort of breath as Michael Van Gogh and at the same sort of age. That must inspire you as well. Oh, yeah, well, uh, just knowing that girl and won a world title at a young age as well. I've always just wanted to try and do exactly what he's done and what Phil's done. And winning a world title already, that's just massively confidence now for me. What was it like playing on that leg side stage? Obviously, because going into the match, you were an underdog. So a lot of people, yeah. they, they were like, no, he's too young, he won't do it. It's a good learning curve for him. And to be fair, you were out there and smashed him up, in fairness. Yeah. Um, playing there, I just went up there with a clear head and just said, just enjoy it. Because not every day I'm going to be playing there. So you never know, it could be once in a lifetime I'll play there. So I just made the most of it and all went well. Obviously, you were criticised a little bit for your celebrations on the day. Yeah. Personally, I don't see anything wrong with it. Are you going to change that or is that who you are and that's what you want to do? Do you want to entertain the fans and show that emotion? Yeah, well, that's me at the end of the day. People don't like me, then they don't like me. Uh, it's, you, darts is a sport, like you're playing for yourself, it's not a team game. So I don't really care what people say about me or it's really playing for yourself. So. As well, having Rob Cross as a mentor as well, has that, has that been a good thing for your career as well? And can you ask him anything? Uh, yeah, he, well, he helped massively at Lakeside. He played him a, the night before in a practice and he, was, he just taught me a load of things. And it, when I went up Lakeside, he, he made me feel a lot less nervous. I was nervous just travelling down there, but then when he came up and told me a couple of things, it, it helped me massively to be fair. So, going back to tonight, if you were to win, is that the biggest result of your career, even though it's only an exhibition? Yeah, if I beat Taylor, no doubt that'd be the biggest ever win of my life. Well, we had a look at your averages and results at the weekend. There were some, there were some pretty good averages in there. Obviously, there was the the one 105 and things like that, but also a lot of 95s and 96s. If you can average somewhere around that tonight, you've got a fancy chance of getting a result here. Yeah, well, I know if I play my own game, I've got a chance of getting well, possibly near the near the winning. It just depends what Phil Taylor turns up. So. I just go here, enjoy it. Mate, uh, thanks for taking time out to join us here at Live Darts, mate. No Absolute problem. pleasure and all the very best tonight, mate. Thank you very much. Thank you.